Hello everyone and welcome back to Love is Strange. So I've turned the music down pretty low because there's a bad habit with these videos of either the music being too loud or my voice being too loud so I've turned it down a lot. It's probably still going to end up being too loud, it's weird like I have it super quiet so that it's pretty much almost inaudible in my headphones but then when I like edit the video and watch it and upload it to YouTube and everything it's so much louder so I don't know I've turned it down a lot and hopefully that helps but we are here with Kate and somebody was trying to get our attention we're about to find out who oh it's Stella we haven't talked in forever she looks at me questioningly do you care if I pop over and say hi I practically push her in Stella's direction you don't need my permission geez I say it with a smile happy that she feels like socialising again. Okay, okay, I'll be right back. I wave at her as she goes over to Stella. Stella was one of the only people to attend Kate's Bible groups. I'm glad Kate's reaching out to her friends again. They look caught up, caught up in their own conversation, so I look around for something to keep me occupied. There's a small gift shop immediately to my left. If we get a gift, hopefully we'll do a better job with her gift than we did with Rachel's. Hmm, maybe I should get something for Kate. She has had a shitty week after all. I never actually finished the Rachel route. Um, I can't remember what happened. I think maybe I recorded the episode and it didn't work or something, but I haven't like finished the game on the channel. So as soon as I'm done with the Kate route, I will go back and will finish the Rachel route. She has had a shitty week after all. Um, hmm. I think she'd uh, maybe like the rabbit. I'm thinking the rabbit or the tea. I feel like if we give her the picture book, she'll be nice anyway because that's the kind of person she is. But I feel like she's more interested in writing her own children's book than reading one. So I think we'll just go with the rabbit. And if she doesn't like it, we can go back, hopefully. Yes, do that. I managed to fit the gift perfectly in my bag, and just in time, Kate's waving me over to where Stella was a moment ago. With a spring in my step, I run over to join her. Oh, okay. More than half the day has passed when Kate and I arrive back at school, but I barely notice it. Barely noticed it. I forgot how much I loved hanging out with Kate and our tea dates, of course. I think she enjoyed herself too. I've seen her smile more today than she has all week. She seems lighter, like there's a lot less on her mind. I hope whoever was bullying her decided to back off. She mentioned someone had written something mean on her room slate. I checked it this morning while I was, on, blah, 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 while I was on my way out to find that it was still wiped clean, thank God. It better stay that way. It's kind of chilly now, a steady breeze filling in the comfortable silence between me and Kate as we walk. She stops me when we reach the steps, putting her hand on my arm gently. Thanks again for letting me tag along, Max. She's swaying back and forth on her feet, her cheeks still rosy from our hot drinks hours ago. Always a pleasure. I pause, rubbing the back of my neck nervously. And, um, sorry I've been such a space case lately. Haven't heard that one before. I still can't help feeling a little guilty about not knowing that Kate was struggling. When you were staying in your room all the time, I thought something was up, but I just didn't say anything. I feel bad. Kate shakes her head almost immediately. Please don't, Max. It's not your job to check up on me all the time. I guess not. I trail off, still unsure. I just hated seeing Kate so sad. Hearing her talk about how hopeless and tired she felt was kind of scary. I don't want her to feel alone. I need to help myself too, like you were telling me yesterday. Besides, I feel pretty good today, so don't worry about me. Kate moves forward and grabs both my hands, squeezing them gently. If anything, you can stress about the photo tomorrow. Not that you have any reason to. I grin, looking from our hands to Kate's face. This route feels like it's moving faster than the other ones, which is fine, it's actually great, I don't have a problem with it. but. I don't think we are, but for some reason it just feels like we're getting close to the end already. What makes you so sure? Kate shrugs. I've never seen a picture of yours that wasn't pretty. 
even my selfies. After a beat, Kate smiles and nods, especially your selfies. The air around us feels suddenly warmer and I look down at my bag for distraction. I open my bag to inspect its contents. Okay, I've noticed that in some of these videos I read either read the wrong words or I miss words out or something and so if I ever do that I'm sorry like I'll get it wrong and then I won't catch it so if that happens I'm sorry it's easier to read just in your head than it is to read out loud and commentate you know I open my bag to inspect its contents there's the film my phone my camera and Kate's gift still wrapped in the plastic gift store bag I can't believe I almost forgot to give it to her. My brain is really fried lately. I look up, I look up at her slightly. See, super difficult. You sure you're feeling all right today? She looks at me questioningly. I'm like hiccuping. I think so, why? Well, I know you've had a hard week, so I may have gotten you something while we were out today, just in case you're still feeling sad. Surprise dawns on Kate's face, and she actually gasps a little, one hand moving to her mouth. You did not have to do that, Max. I'm fine, really. For a second I worry that I've offended her somehow, but the small smile I can see under her hand tells me otherwise. But I wanted to. I stick my hand in my bag to grasp the gift, then smile back at Kate. Now hold, it, hold out your hands and don't peek. She obliges with small giggles. I think that's supposed to say giggles. Obediently holding out a hand as her eyes gently flutter closed. Kate takes the bunny out of the bag and looks it over for a moment before looking up at me neutrally. She's gonna hate it. She's gonna be like, a toy rabbit murdered my family. How could you do this? Oh, how cute. Damn it. Yeah, but not a pet bun. Not like a toy. All right, I'm going back. I thought she'd like it because, you know, yes, yeah, she already has a rabbit, but that's a real rabbit. This is a toy one. <gasps> no! Oh my god, it won't let me go back. Okay, I'm gonna... I should have saved, but I thought it would let me go back. I'm going to go from here. Okay, we're gonna try and give her the cinnamon tea. Uh, whoops, I accidentally went back. Cinnamon tea. Oh wow, thanks Max. I'm always in the mood for tea. Is that the, like, okay one? The bunny was probably bad. The, um, the picture book is probably, like, really good. And I guess the tea is, like, neutral or something. She seems pleased, running her fingers over the fancy gold script that adorns the side of the box. I know. The store owner told me that it was a popular choice, so you'll have to let me know how it tastes. She raises her eyebrows in surprise. As if I'm not going to share it with you. That makes me smile. Of course Kate would. Just then the clouds, which had been blocking the sun for most of the afternoon, moved away from each other so that we could see the colours on the dusky sky. Kate smiles. Despite having to shield her eyes a little, she looks at the strong glow of the sun. It's going to set soon. I could probably get some good shots. I wonder what Kate would say if I asked her to watch it with me. While well, I took pictures, of course. Would that be too weird? We are just friends, after all. Looks like the clouds are finally clearing. Still a little chilly, though. This is why she has rewind powers, so that if it is awkward and Kate says no, she can just rewind and take it back. Maybe we should head back inside. Kate pulls out her phone and checks the time, her eyes widening in surprise. Wow, I guess it is a bit late. People have talked in the main game about, like, Max's powers and, you know, her using them to manipulate people into thinking that she cares. She'll, like, she'll, like, find out somebody's last name, like, um, Dana's last name or Juliet, I can't remember. And then rewind and act as if she knew the whole time. It's kind of mani blah, blah, manipulation. But, I don't know, if I was in her position, I think I'd be doing the same thing. I'd just, like, I wouldn't just go up and do crazy things. Although, I don't know. I think I'd be more daring. And then if it backfired, I would just rewind and pretend it never happened. 
And you can't tell me you wouldn't as well. Time flies when you're having fun? She nods eagerly with a laugh, and the way light hits her face makes her look radiant. It certainly does, but now it's back to real world. Her words remind me about what I want to ask her. I want to make sure nobody's been giving her more grief. I reach out and, and touch Kate's shoulder gently, <laughs> so many words. Maybe not just yet. I wanted to talk to you about something, about um, the people who've been bullying you. She shrugs, like she's not used to people asking after her. I hope that's not the case. Oh, well, okay. You want to sit down somewhere? I nod, letting Kate lead the way. I know they said letting tea. I was going to say we're probably like going to have a tea session and talk about things. A thought occurs to me as I look to the horizon. You know, it's going to be a really pretty sunset. We should stay outside long enough to watch it. Kate smiles knowingly back at me. Itching to test out your new film? And to watch it with one of my best friends. What do you say? Kate seems to glow with pride at my words and nods. It is Pride Month. We sit on one of the benches outside the dorms, getting a good view of the sun dipping behind the trees. Another breeze shifts past us and Kate rubs her shoulders. Oh, it's getting chilly now. I'm going to try this one and then I'll rewind. It is getting... Oh, we got an achievement. It is getting kind of cold. I pull my own hoodie tighter around me. Maybe you should have brought a jacket then. Kate looks at me briefly, nonplussed. Probably. Uh, okay, let's go back. <gasps> Can we not? Are you kidding? Man. Shit. This is just the episode of me screwing up. Oh my god. Shit, was that rude? I'd meant it as a joke, but... Kate speaks before I can think of an apology. So, what's on your mind? I mean... I'm not obligated to give her my jacket. <laughs> I shift a little, thinking on my words. I don't want to bring up any bad memories for Kate. Especially after she had such a nice time today. I just wanted to make sure you're okay, after what you told me. I hope I didn't come off as too bossy. I didn't mean to tell you how to run your life, I just don't want to see you get hurt anymore. After a pause, Kate making sure I finished, she replies. That's really sweet of you, Max, but you don't have to apologise. I needed to hear what you said. She's not looking at me, playing with a loose thread on her shirt. This might surprise you, but I'm not as delicate as everyone thinks I am. Or at least, I try not to be. I just forget sometimes, you know? When everyone sees you as this shy, scared little Christian girl, it's kind of hard to break away from that. Nobody understands that there's more to me. She looks back up at me a little anxiously. Do you, even? She seems so troubled. I want to grab her hand and apologise, tell her I'm sorry for bringing it up again, but it's too late now. Kate, you know I understand. What brought this on? You've been so nice to me and I'm so happy that you picked me to help you with the contest. But I don't want you to feel like you have to, ju you have to just because you feel bad for me. She looks away again, focusing on the rings on her fingers instead of me. I mean, if I was going to do things for you because I felt bad for you, I probably would have given you my jacket. I was teasing, but the game like wouldn't let me go back, so we fucked up. I know I get sad sometimes, and it's not always easy for me to make friends. That's why I want to make sure the friendships that I actually do make are genuine. Do you understand, Max? I don't want anyone's pity. Uh, I understand. It sucks that Kate has to feel this way, but I understand where she's coming from. If I'd been in her position, people whispering behind my back and bullying me, I'd be a little paranoid too. I know where you're coming from, Kate, but you don't have to worry about that with me. You really think I would have spent the whole day with you just because I felt sorry for you? I reach over and brush my knuckles against her shoulder, getting her to look up at me. I had an awesome time today. And that's because I was hanging out with you. There's only one Kate Marsh, and I'm glad she's my friend. After a moment, Kate smiles. 
I still think you're way too nice, Max, but I believe you. Good. I'll always be here for you, Kate. I know. You get me, Max. I'm just- I say this in pretty much all of these videos, but I'm just essentially talking to myself here. I realise I haven't been giving her enough credit. It's kind of weird though, because I really do feel like I'm talking to someone. Like at the moment, nobody really watches these videos, but at the same time, I still don't feel like I'm just talking to myself. You know, like now that I'm thinking about it, yes, I very obviously am, but when I'm recording, it just feels like I'm talking to the viewer. I realise I haven't been giving her enough credit. Kate looks so sure of herself right now, completely the opposite of yesterday. Could it really be that easy for her attitude to turn around, just like flipping a switch? I'm not sure. But I trust Kate, and hearing how steady she sounds takes a huge weight off my shoulders. Just don't be afraid to ask when you need help. I can't always take a hint. This makes her giggle a little, breaking the serious air completely. I know. Hey, that's the part where you're supposed to disagree. We're both laughing now. Shouldn't you be taking pictures right now? You're gonna miss your shot. Kate innocently gestures toward the setting sun. She's right. I shake my head at her before grabbing my camera out of my bag. Feels like you're off the hook. For now. The sun glares against the trees, making them look black and daunting. The tips of the leaves on the branches light up, giving them a fiery glow. I know it says fiery glow, but I feel like there should be an A there. This is my favourite time to take nature shots. The sunset makes the entire world light up. Kate is patient while I take my pictures, looking out at the horizon like she's deep in thought. Satisfied with my work, I put my camera away and Kate rises from the bench. I should get going now. Talk to you later. I nod, smiling. Sure, I'll text you. Here, let's look at the diary. Uh... The more I think about people bullying Kate, the more pissed off I feel. Who the hell would bully Kate Marsh? She's never done anything mean to anyone. When I first started at Blackwell, she was one of the very first people to go out of their way to introduce themselves to me, and I feel like shit that she's been coping with this and I didn't ask about it sooner. Um, I decided to grab something for her from a gift shop while she was distracted. I got her tea because I know she's a connoisseur. She said we'd have to have a cup together. Of course I agreed. I can't wait. We watched the sun start to set together. Um, uh, I just don't want Kate to be hurt anymore. Except Kate insisted that she's not made of glass. She straight up told me that she didn't want me feeling sorry for her. Or anyone else's pity for that matter. Uh, but that's not why I hang out with her. I hang out with Kate because I like Kate. Period. Being pitied is really... Well, it's probably humiliating for someone like her, who says she knows how to fend for herself. I told the hospital staff we'd be there at around two tomorrow. You know what bus to take, right? Wanna head up there together? That way I won't be tempted to mash the snooze button too many times. She giggles, nodding. Sure, I'd like that. Uh, she gives a small wave before heading back inside. I'm glad Kate seems excited for tomorrow. I know we're going to take a great photo together. Okay, I'm going to end this part here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry this video was a disaster. When I talk really fast, I like trip over my words and it's just word vomit and it's awful. I'm sorry. But thank you for watching and just check the diary really quick. Uh, I don't know what it's like to be Kate Marsh because we had totally different upbringings. I can probably count all the times I've been to church since childhood on one hand, but because Kate is different than most of us, she deals with totally different things. I'm trying really hard to understand, to get where she's coming from. I don't want to mess it up. Okay, I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye everyone!